Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be making some fondant cupcake toppers. We're going to be working with some edible images. Um, we're going to be working with some cookie cutters, some molds, a lot of different molds. Um, we're actually, we need some scissors. We're going to be using a pizza cutter. We're going to be using an X-Acto knife. And then we're going to be using three different color fondants, which is the white, the red, and the black. You're also going to need a rolling pin, so let's get started. So first we're going to start out with holding our fondant with some shortening. This just makes it more pliable and easier to work with. And then we're going to roll it out. I'm using my sewing mat that you guys know that I love so much. I love this mat. I will link it below as I do in all my videos so you can get one. It's really good when you're using your X-Acto knife. You're rolling out fondant. It's, it's actually non-stick. Like, I just, I love this mat. It's not made for baking, but I just love it. So we're going to start off by cutting some circles with our stackable um cookie circle cookie cutter set i will stack i will i'm sorry i will link these below so we're gonna make four of each color since we're making a dozen we're gonna make four red um circles we're gonna make four black and four white So I decided I wanted to make some triangle shapes, which I don't have a triangle cutter, but I do have a star cutter, which kind of gives you an outline for a triangle. The way my mind works, guys, is just crazy. Like I use my cookie cutters for all different designs. Um, so yeah, I don't even know why I looked at that and saw a triangle and decided I was going to use the star cutter to make the triangle as you see. And it actually came out perfect. And so we will be using piping gel to stick all of the details to the um, fondant toppers. You guys know I love to use piping gel um, because it it's actually like an edible glue and it dries hard and clear. Um, I used to use like a simple syrup or like water when I first started baking. But sometimes when you're like putting like a dark color on top of, top of a light color like the red triangle on top of a on top of the white topper it'll bleed and give you um like it'll like mess up your color sometimes so i like piping gel because it's not actually wet it's more of like a tacky or like a sticky so that's why i use that instead of a simple syrup or water So these are just two roses that I made with my single rose mold. Um, very easy. I like to use this mold a lot. There it is. And like I said, I stuck those down with piping gel. Here I'm kind of thinking of what design I'm going to do next. With this order, I wasn't really given any exact direction. Um, it was just that she wanted um, Delta Sigma Theta cupcakes. So I'm kind of like um, free. I'm like thinking of the 
designs as I go. I kind of had it planned out a little bit, but like I was thinking of designs as I go. So I like to actually do sets. I never like when I do an order to give somebody 12 of the exact same cupcakes. I like to do a set of cupcakes that go together unless the customer specifically asked me for 12 of the exact same cupcakes. If not, then I'm going to do a set that goes together. I just like sets better than duplicating the exact same cupcake over and over again. Same thing with cookies. So now I made another um, set of the 1913 numbers in black and I'm just all into my work putting down um, the black letters on the white topper and then later I realized that the red uh, flower was on a whole different topper and they were supposed to be on the same topper so I ended up moving it. And that's the thing about piping gel. It's easy for you to pick it up and just move it and since it's not wet it's more like um, just like a little sticky you can just wipe it right off.
So now we're gonna work with the edible images. And these are images that I just found on Google and I printed them out on edible paper with edible ink. And so I'm just gonna cut those out. Um, you can use your X-Acto knife to cut them out, but since these shapes aren't that difficult to cut out, I'm just gonna use some um, sharp kitchen scissors and cut these out. When you're working with edible images, you do wanna make sure that your hands are clean and dry. You don't want any moisture or especially no water or anything on your hands because if you touch that image the ink will immediately smear and it will come off on your finger and you will mess up your image so um in between different takes anyway i wash my hands before i go to the next step but especially when you're working with edible images you want to wash and dry your hands completely and if you are wearing gloves then you want to make sure your gloves are clean and completely dry as well um some people ask why i don't wear gloves and i like to wash my hands more frequently I find that with wearing gloves, you touch a lot of surfaces and I feel like people keep gloves on a lot longer than they're supposed to. And especially while I'm recording, I'm touching um, my phone and my stand and different things like that. So I'd rather just wash my hands in between takes rather than to have on gloves and be touching different surfaces and spreading more germs gloves can be beneficial if you wear them correctly and you change them frequently but if you're keeping them on too long and you're touching too many surfaces while you're working you're defeating the purpose of actually wearing the gloves in my opinion you, you can argue with me in the comment section if you want <laughs> So now we're going to paint those two elephants gold. And this is just some gold luster dust um, that I put a little bit of vodka into it. And once I started painting, I realized that it wasn't much left in there. So I actually um, had to um, use a different one, a brand new one, in which I finished painting it a brighter gold off camera. You'll see the finished product. But basically, this is how you paint it gold. It just was nothing left in there. So I ended up using another one and painting it off camera. So this is how they turned out guys as you can see those elephants are much brighter gold i did end up adding some little purple um flowers to the pearl toppers as well but they came out so cute guys don't you think and so i let those sit out um overnight and they harden up and this is how they look on top of the cupcakes they came out very cute um so i hope you guys give cupcake toppers a try with edible images and fondant details but thank you for watching guys see you next time bye sweet life sweet life sweet pie